the moment is almost here now, final press conference, had a look at your man, just tell us how you're feeling at this point. Um, just like any other fight to be honest, just, yeah, yeah, no pressure, I don't feel no pressure, just, just ready to get it on now, Saturday night. We know, and you mentioned it there, that you literally did start at the bottom, you know, you, you weren't through the Olympics and straight into a TV deal, you've done it the hard way, how much does that mean to you that you know, you've been there and done it and now you're at the, the biggest stage? Well, I know I've gained the experience and I'm, I'm ready for the big fight like this. I haven't just been brought, brought along the easy way and then chucked into the deep end. Uh, I'm, I'm like seasoned. I've been a pro since 2008. I've only had 21 fights, but they've all been learning fights. Do you um, think about those days, the small hall days and, and what you went through and the, the little bits of money? Do you, do you re remind yourself of that now? Yeah, I remind myself and that, that gives me a, that extra thing. Why well, I don't want to lose, I've, I've been at the bottom and I don't want to go back down there. Yeah. Yeah. What's the least you've got paid in one of those one of those big one of those small hall shows? Six hundred quid before I had to pay deductions as well. Really? Yeah. Did you win? Of course I won. Of course you tried. Um, Evgeny Gradovic, as we know, he's a he's a top level opponent. I think this is his fifth defence already. Very similar records you and him. What do you make of it? Let's say I, I have records are almost identical. I got the one little loss, he got the one draw, which he won and I think I won. We've got a similar knockout ratio. I've had the difference I've had 12 back to back title fights, 10 12 round fights, and two, I think, two 10 round fights. He's had five, but these have been on paper a higher level world title fights. So we're evenly, evenly matched on paper. But um, I, I think I got to beat him. Do you think he's been in the, I know he's beat Billy Dib twice. Do you think he's been in with anyone like you? He haven't been in with no one like me, no. Not my style. And he's good when, when they stand with, with him and, I, and he likes to have a tear up. I like to box and move and that's, that should make the difference on fighting. Is that what you meant up there when you said styles make fights? You think your style's perfect for that? My, my style should not box him with the cleaner shots. Yeah. Just a word on the show, it's obviously a crazy bill. I mean, there's you and Kev and then Kelbrook and Frankie, Anthony Joshua, all the way down there's straps on the line. What does that mean to you to be part of this? Well, it's, it's a massive, massive show and I'm, I'm honoured to be part of it. It's, it's one of the, like I'm a boxing fan myself and it's one of the best special that's been on in Britain. Mm. Was there three world, world title fights and, well the whole show's title fights, isn't it? British, Commonwealth. Mm. So it's great, great to be a part of it. Now there was mention there of obviously Sanagar, your team and, and everything like that and that everyone's here, it feels like a real team ethos. I think the last champion they had was Glenn Catley and he won that WBC Super Middleweight title. So it would mean so much to the team as well. Yeah, it'd mean a lot to, to the Sanagar. I think that was like 15 years ago. He won the title, was he? So, yeah, it's, it's nice to be the, ne the next champion. Hopefully, I can do it. And like, it'll mean a lot to all, all my friends, all my family, the people of Baddie Town and, and South Wales. I'll be the 12th Welsh world champion, so it'll mean everything. Is there a feeling that Welsh boxing needs a, needs a new star? It, it do, yeah. And I'll, I'll, be, I'll be the, the face of Welsh boxing if I can win this title.